Hello everybody and welcome to the Meta YouTube channel and to this video tutorial on the importance of aliases in Obsidian. So the usage of aliases in Obsidian is just one of those kind of improvements in your life that can really strengthen your thinking and your mental associations between ideas and the content of those ideas. The titles that you give to your notes and the actual content within the note itself. And to make your mind think more in synonymous and holistic terms. And personally coming from the use case of Notion, having used Notion for one year before switching to Obsidian in April of 2022, Realizing and understanding the use case and the opportunity here that resides within the usage of aliases really was kind of one of those magical moments that Obsidian consistently has provided since April in that it really opens up a new possibility of thinking, a new way of like structuring your mind and your vault together. So. Let's get into it. I have prepared some examples and I will explain as I go along. And just keep in mind as I explain this, if you have any questions, please just pause the video and write down your questions and leave them as a comment and I'll get to them. So thank you for that. YAML front matter. This comes from the documentation on the official Obsidian help uh, page on the documentation that obsidian.md has provided and the link will be in the description of the video as well. YAML, also known as front matter, is designed to be a file level metadata that is readable by humans and Obsidian. Front matter is a section of plain text attributes that starts at the first line of the file. So that can be clearly seen in this file right here, designated by these three dashes on the top and these three dashes at the bottom. And of course, we have the field here called aliases, currently blank in this note, we'll, but we'll get to the examples. So, the YAML front matter metadata has other use case scenarios apart from aliases, such as using it in data view and other plugins and use cases. So, keep that in mind. You should learn about YAML front matter as well, just uh, not because of the aliases, but other use cases as well. Going on to the aliases section of the documentation on YAML front matter, we see sometimes you might want to refer to the same file with multiple names in different contexts. These alternative names are what we call aliases. So the way that I frame this in my mind and the how I have written it down for myself is that I use aliases in my vault to cross-reference the actuality of designated note titles between my mental associations, that would be expectations and assumptions about the note titles I have designated. Because it might be that at times I write down a note when I think about something, but the title that I give to a note doesn't perfectly or doesn't in the best way possible way reflect the actual content of the note such that the title given could be more optimized, could be more refined, or it could even be synonymous with something else. And that's what we'll get to now in these examples. So the principles of my life philosophy. Here we see immediately that there are a huge ton of different aliases for the one and same Con for the same content within this. So everything written here is titled all of these things at the one and same time. So if I were to bring up the quick switcher in my uh, vault and to search for any of these, my life philosophy, we immediately see these arrows that is pointing the green one here and the gray one here. This is what is called an alias and it's, as we've discussed, defined by the YAML front matter metadata field called aliases. So all of these arrows are pointing to this note such that it is synonymous 
and is what is an alias. And this can be completely changed if I take the note title right here, the principles of my life philosophy, and I designate this as something else, and I change the note title to be ABC123. If I go here and do the principles of my life philosophy, now the principles of my life philosophy is pointing to the text, the title of the note, which is now ABC123 if you wanted it to be that way. So I hope that makes sense. Next one is Vajrayana Buddhism. There are several synonymous names for the one and same direction inside of Buddhism. Vajrayana Buddhism is also known by the names such as Vajrayana, Thunderbolt Vehicle, Diamond Vehicle, Mantrayana, and all these other secret mantra, everything else. And so that's a very helpful way of using it. Uh, for example, this one is really good as well. Body mind. There's a phenomena called body mind within holistic health, which is just to speak about how the mind and body speaks to one another, how it is all connected in terms of holistic health. And I reference body mind as a note title as mind and body, but also body and mind. Because if I were to start searching mind and body, and I wouldn't have this alias, I would have to create a new note when I actually want to write about the same phenomena, just in a different note title. So very helpful, very useful. Emptiness, the same thing. Shunyata, the absolute totality, the void, lack of inherent existence. And also this one is a good example of a bilingual way of using aliases. Handyman, master guide, tips or tricks in Norwegian is also referenced here by registrering av jobber, handyman, arbeidsbeskrivelse, and so on and so forth. I hope you get the idea. Um, I hope this is useful. As always, check out the documentation on Obsidian's uh, help pages. And as always with these videos, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was useful. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day as always. This is Magnus signing off. Thank you. Peace.